covert bag uh, that I purchased some time ago. There's been a couple of little messages on the first video um, regarding it and all that. Uh, I believe in the first video I had the, the Daniel Defense Mark 18 broken down into the lower and upper and messing with the bag now for a while. This seems to be the setup I like. Uh, I've been kind of holding out, waiting on a suppressor uh, to put in the bag. But since I've been getting so many messages, hey, can you try this? Have you tried that? Does this fit? Does that fit? This is how it is right now. This is how it's been for, God, last three, four, five months, however long I've had it. I literally, after making that video and uploading it, like maybe that week, was able to play with it and talk to some other owners and uh, get the rifle assembled in the, uh, in the bag. I even uh, I even had my Glock 23 before I put the forward grip on there inside the bag without this magazine pouch. Uh, but I got thinking, you know what? It was heavy, <laughs> and I prefer to carry my Glock 23 sometimes when uh, when I'm out and about. So I'm just gonna make this my rifle bag for my Mark 18. So here it is. This is the way it is. It's fully assembled. There's no breaking down. I have two of the straps, the Velcro straps to hold it in, one on the stock, one on the uh, butt stock. Uh, it kind of, because of the Surefire muzzle, flash hider, uh, it kind of pokes out a little bit, but angled it in, it fits, it zips up. And if you don't believe me, it fully zips up. That's how it is, carrying it around, and so forth. Uh, carry it in the truck, no problem. So, uh, that's pretty much it as far as the update. For those that are the first time seeing this video, this is the LaRue, as mentioned, LaRue Tactical Covert bag. Um, it's very, very nicely done, very well made. Good. Product, strong zipper, Velcro everywhere. Um, I got my you know, sling right there, stuff, uh, set of kick gloves. I got my Multitasker Series 3 in there. Uh, X Products, X15S drum, Daniel Defense Mark 18, uh, 5.56 rifle, EOTech Red Dot with the three time magnifier. I get a lot of questions about the Texas flag. If you haven't gone and checked out customgunrails.com, I have a lot of their rail covers. It's just a little personalization. They got Texas flags, military slogans, law enforcement, uh, quotes. They even do custom ones. I got a couple uh, waiting to be produced right now. So make sure you go check them out again, customgunrails.com. Uh, now, <clears throat> this is the pouch you can get for it. I believe it comes with one. I have to remember. I ordered two or three of these, and I'm using one. It carries two magazines. Two P mags are in there, 30 rounders. And of course, they have a nice bumper up here. Some people put their pouches up here, however you want to do it, you know. Um, so I keep two right there, and then I keep two more P mags inside this pouch. stamp in there, so I never, I don't have to worry about, hey, where's my tax stamp? Um, and you can set this up many ways, you know. I've seen people have broken down full-size ARs in here. Uh, I did at one point, as mentioned, have my uh, Glock 23 uh, pistol in here as well. But uh, I'm very happy with this bag. I highly recommend it. Oh, yeah, the Velcro on the front, so you can put a patch there if you like. Yeah. Buy it. That's all I can say. Uh, the only other one I was really seriously consi considering was the sneaky bags. The benefit of the sneaky bags, I think, is it's a little bit larger, and it's a backpack, which sometimes I like. I like being able to just throw it on my back, be able to carry it into the range, or, you know, to and from the car, so forth. 
have that rifle with me. Uh, but I'm not disappointed in this. I highly recommend it. I think if Sneaky Bags or somehow I got a hold of one and could test try that and all that, it, it, it would be a hard battle for me. It just depends on what you want. So, uh, yeah, there it is. Some people question if you could fit a, uh, if I could fit the Mark 18 in there. I did it. 10.3 barrel with a surefire flash hider, which adds like an extra inch and a half. It's in there. It's a little snug, but it's in there. So if you're you're tossed up on it, you know, if you got longer than, you know, 10.3 barrel with a inch, inch and a half uh, muzzle device on there, it's going to be a tight fit. But, uh, I did it, so go check them out, LaRue Tactical Covert Bag. Thanks again.